To be honest, it's actually not very complicated to build muscle and achieve your ideal physique as a girl or a biological woman. There's so many people with fixed mindsets on this subject. You know, girls often say, as a girl, you can't build good muscle or only guys can build muscle. Stop overthinking it. Today, I'm going to walk you through some of the principles and tips I use to build my physique, which you can implement to help you build yours. Hello, my name is Jada. I'm a 16-year-old girl. I've been on my fitness journey for a while, and I've seen amazing results so far. So, I've decided to start this YouTube channel to potentially help other people get closer to their fitness goals. To preface, I'm not a pro coach or certified trainer by any means. I'm just sharing things that help me build muscle, and I believe they can help you. Little pre-tip, make sure you know what training style you're going to be using. If you don't have access to a gym, I recommend calisthenics, which uses body weight movements, so you could do it anywhere. But if you do have access to a gym for weight training i recommend you go there unless you just happen to prefer calisthenics over the gym and on top of that you could do a hybrid training style where you implement movements from both calisthenics and weight training just make sure you choose the style you like the most at the end of the day both are beneficial for building muscle number one choose a workout split that works for you notice how i said you you need to pick the split that's going to best fit into your personal schedule you don't want to end up choosing one that you're not going to be able to be consistent with and there's also no such thing as the best split it's not a one size fits all type of thing i personally recommend training anywhere from three to six days per week so that you're not under training nor over training just make sure you're training a minimum of three days a week here are some splits i recommend for the amount of days you might have to train if you have three days i recommend doing a full body split where you're training monday Day, Wednesday and Friday and resting in between. For four days, I recommend the upper lower split. You can go upper lower, upper lower, or you can go upper lower rest and upper lower, however you want to do it. For five days, I recommend push pull legs plus upper lower. So that's push pull legs rest then upper lower or you can go push pull legs upper lower then rest again it's completely up to you for six days i recommend just a push pull leg split that could be push pull legs push pull legs rest or push pull legs rest push pull legs or you could do a push pull legs and arnold split which is push pull legs rest chest and back arms then legs or you could do it six days straight and then rest on the seventh day as well these are splits that I find good for the amount of training days as they each work effectively in building muscle. Now keep in mind there are so many other splits out there, you do not have to pick from the ones I just listed. You can of course go search on the internet for more ideas. Just remember to pick a split that fits into your schedule so that you can be consistent with it. Number two, high training intensity and progressive overload. Your training intensity needs to be high if you want to get results. Just going through the motions in a workout is not going to get you anywhere. Me personally, I had to learn this the hard way in the past and I was always wondering why I was never seeing results. It was because I was not training hard. You should be taking the sets of an exercise close to or to failure. That is what stimulates the muscles to grow and get stronger. You also need to make sure to implement progressive overload, which means to gradually increase the difficulty of your workouts over time so your muscles continue to grow. So with each workout, you want to gradually increase the weights, reps, or sets to ensure that you are getting stronger and stimulating muscle growth. There are also other options for progressive overload, such as increasing time under tension, drop sets, etc., which I'll go more into in a future video. Just know you should never leave a workout thinking you could have done way more. You're probably leaving a lot of gains on the table. Number three, getting adequate rest slash sleep. Rest is so important when it comes to maximizing muscle growth. Your body actually produces hormones crucial for muscle growth and repair while you're asleep. Also, getting enough rest helps prevent injury, fatigue, etc. So make sure to have at least one rest day per week for muscle recovery and keep rest days active. You could go for a walk, do cardio, stretch, anything to keep you active. I really cannot stress enough how important rest days are in maximizing muscle growth. Number four, High protein diet. Consuming enough protein in your diet is crucial for the growth of muscle. You can go and implement every principle I've stated so far, but you will not get results if your diet is not on point for muscle building. Getting a lot of protein in aids in muscle protein synthesis, which is how your muscles grow and get stronger. I personally recommend consuming about 0.8 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight to maximize muscle growth. That's just my recommendation. You'll hear many different variations of that number. So I recommend you go and experiment yourself and see how much protein benefits you. But the 0.8 to one gram of protein per pound of body weight is kind of the common ground. Now this video is strictly for building muscle and one of the best ways to do that in terms of diet is to be in a caloric surplus aka a bulk. And that just means to eat more calories than you are burning every day. I recommend calculating your maintenance calories with an online calorie calculator and adding 200 to 500 to that every day. Now of course not every single calorie will go to building muscle, you will gain a bit of body fat. But as long as you don't go too overboard with your calories and train hard, you will minimize that fat gain. Do keep in mind though that bulking is not required to build muscle. You could build muscle at maintenance calories. It's just with bulking, you'll build muscle quicker and most likely run into less plateaus compared to staying at maintenance. Number five, patience slash cutout comparison. You can't start training and expect to grow at light speed. Otherwise, you're just gonna demotivate yourself. You're not gonna see visible changes one, two weeks in. That's just not realistic. 
So many women looking to build muscle often forget that fact and end up quitting within a month. So remember, it takes time. And please stop comparing yourself and your progress to other people. All that does is get you down. See, everybody is different. You're not like any other person in the world. You are your own individual with your own genetics. Some people have genetic advantages for muscle building and some people have disadvantages. And to kind of stem off genetic disadvantages, as a biological female, yes, it takes more time to build muscle compared to males. As you may already know, they have way more testosterone than we do, which allows them to put on muscle quicker. And that's that. There's nothing we can do about that. So also, please don't go comparing your progress to that of a male. Of course, it's going to be different. Hey, but do not let that take away from the fact that if you work hard you will eventually see results time brings results and i stand by that that's also the channel acronym by the way <laughs> All right, I hope these tips and principles were helpful to you. Like I said earlier, these are just things that have worked for me. I'm not a pro coach or pro trainer by any means, at least not yet. If you haven't started your fitness journey and are wanting to, the best time to start is now. If you have started already, keep working and stay consistent. I wish everyone the best on their journeys. Leave a comment and let me know if you're going to implement any of these principles. If not, I hope I at least help somebody out there. Thank you so much to everybody who watched this video and I'll see y'all in the next one.